number three. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Spurgeon's got it in the defensive end. Grabs control of it at the point. Just gets enough to keep it out. Feet up ahead. Fast and quick lead pass. And now it's grabbed by Pareto. Quick pass to Shen. Slick feed. There's a shot. Oh, Trevor saved by Gustafson. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Rossi's won the draw inside his own end. Steps across the blue line. Moves it to Rossi. And that stays out as he got just enough of the puck with the glove. And play continues. The Blues move it ahead. Great heads up play with the stick by Middleton. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. Now a quick pass to Boldy. The Blues look to start the transition game. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Hayes plays it now. Textbook poke check by Middleton. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Into the offensive end right up the middle. Hartman's got it deep in the offensive end. The Blues get a hold of the puck. Knocked away with the stick by Hartman. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone crushing hit, that does just that. Pushes it across to Johansson. Felino's gaining momentum. Puck dumped in. The Blues gain possession. St. Louis has the puck. Saad's got it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Sundqvist. Puck picked up by Saad. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop. It's in the back of the net. They score. And that might be an own goal. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I think so, James. I, I mean, goaltenders are so good at tracking the puck and fighting to find it. And I don't think he saw it or knew where it so his feet start swimming in the crease, and as a result, the puck goes in. That's a tough one. St. Louis has the game's first goal. They've changed the complexion now of this opening frame. Yeah, the complete mindset to redirect right here. When you get a goal, it's emotional. You're charged. The physical component, you start to engage more. So expect to find these next few shifts really energetic and on their opponent. Quick feed to Bogosian. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a 1 0 game to this point. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Minnesota's got it across the line. And the defenders come up with the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Krug's got it in the defensive zone. Big feed to Torchenko. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Picked off by Thomas. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Quick pass to Erickson Eck. Great use of the wall in the pass. Shot to the Gustafson's made a great quality shot. Look easy. I mean, he is so 
so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes a save. Denies him again! They are really dialed in here tonight. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Taken by Spurgeon. Letier has got the puck along the way. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Kapanen swooping in on the attack. Here's a chance! Oh, what a save on the play! Yeah. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. More than half the period has expired. St. Louis has the 1-0 lead. And they win the draw on their own end. Feeds the puck across to Foligno. The Blues have it now. Moves it to Kapanen. Across the line, down the left wall. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Oh, look out! Oh, what a collision into the boards. Foligno's got it in the offensive zone. Moves the puck. The Blues wanted to put a lot of pucks on net going into this one, and they have delivered on that, leading late in the first. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. And that's blocked from someone in front. Moves it quickly over to Fulton. Shuts him down. Gustafson's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Hanson the call there. Minnesota's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Fires it! We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Late goings of this period. The Blues lead it 1-0. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Poked away in the neutral zone. And now he moves it quickly to Kaprizov. Denied by the goaltender. The Blues play it along the boards. Gaining steam here on the attack. Receives the pass. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Thomas is known to bring the heat offensively for his squad. The centers will glide into the dot. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Quick shot, and that's blocked. Find some space in the corner. Quick feed to Eriksson. And he keeps that one out. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Gustafson's been outstanding in the first period, James, and really the only reason this game is close. This is exactly why you build your team from the goaltending position out. St. Louis has been on a roll offensively here, and they lead it in the second. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Quick pass 
to Brodeen. And that caroms off a body in traffic. What a stop right there. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. With possession along the wall. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Erickson X gained the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it to Spurgeon. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Buchnevich is picking up steam. Here we go, pucks in deep. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. St. Louis looks to attack. Gives them nothing in front. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. Nice job tying up his opponent. From behind the net. And the puck's knocked loose. The Wild have it in their own zone. Feeds the puck over to Middleton. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Hayes will play into the corner. Here's a chance. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James. But man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And that's intercepted by Bogosian. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Kairou. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. The Blues have had a lot of jump in their steps since the drop of the puck in this one, and they lead it here in this second period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From the left side, takes it at center. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Neighbors. Handles the puck. He got all of that one. And it's a quick pass to Johansson. The Blues take it across the line. The Wild have possession now. Slides the puck to Polino. Clay is blown dead with the offside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Dumps the puck in. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Biddington's going to hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, as part of their mental preparation as a goaltender, even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that and makes a nice cover. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Quick shot, and he gets just enough to keep it out. I don't even know if a soccer net would have found the back of that one. That's a massive miss, James. You're in primetime scoring area in the middle of the ice. You go that far wide, that's a tough one. Score! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes from traffic and finds the back of the net. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as the face-off is ready to go. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Quick feed to Erickson. And he was ready for that one. The Blues pick up steam and are on the attack. Quick pass to Pareko. Oh, he caught him. Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a jet. Great pressure to force the turnover. And makes the save. Here in the back half of 
for this period. It's all tied up. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Tries to get it over to Spurgeon. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. The Blues played along the wing. Here's a pass down low. And he slides it quickly to Scandella. Quick blast. That's off a stick. Slides it diagonally to Kairou. Boldy stick handling in his own zone. Spurgeon's got it along the wing. Takes the feed. Rips it. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Handles the pass. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Puts it on that big time stop. Handles the puck at the point. And now it's taken by Middleton. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Made that stop. Drills him. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And he takes the feed. Wax it into the offensive zone. Sends it quickly to Shen. Passes ahead from the right side. Gautreaux's moving it ahead. The Blues have it now. Takes the feed. Oh, and the anchor is dropped on that hit. He looks deep to Merrill. He got all of that one. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Uses the force on that hit. Moves it to Bogosian. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Shot! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Moves it quickly over to Sucarello. Solid hit on that play. And he slides it quickly to Torpchenko. Loses his balance on the play. The Wild have the puck against the Lords. And now he angles it across to Eric Sinek. Back to the blue line. Big save right at the end. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Shen. 
tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. St. Louis gains a hold of it. The Blues will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Shen. On the attack along the boards. You'll need more than that to beat him. Picked up along the boards by Shen. Shot from the point. And that goes off course off a of body. Minnesota's on the attack. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. And that pass attempt is deflected. Nice zone entry from the left. Great reach with the poke check by Falk. Quick shot. Tremendous stop by Bennington. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. Gaudreau's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Answer the call on that play. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Puck grab by Goudreau. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Levels him with the hit. Quick pass to Middleton. And it rings the post! That's an unlucky bounce as the shooter is driving in and just sees an opening, but unable to convert as it goes off of the pipe and out. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Oh, another great save right there. The Blues have the puck in the corner. Oh, so good. What a stop. Now well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. They saw coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. St. Louis wins possession right off the jump. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck with the since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed, and they find the back of the net. Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. The Blues now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Moves it to Saad. Tosses it on to Duhayne. Moves the puck along the half wall. Reaches out and uses the stick. Moves the puck over to Neighbors. Puts the way to stay on the attack. Sends it over to Lettieri. Gaining momentum along the boards. Shot! Great glove save! I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. the midway mark in this period. St. Louis has been the better team these last few minutes and could be poised to add to that one goal lead. Taken along the wall by Brodeen. The Blues gain possession in their own end. St. Louis on the attack. On the back end. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Blues have to be feeling good about the position they're in down the stretch now, Cheryl. I take a two-goal lead at the back half of the third period any day of the week, James. It's just about closing it out now, and that comes down to managing the puck and limiting any turnovers. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Blues are across the line and into the offensive end. Up along the wing. Here we go, Otme. 
Ryan Rush here. Big stop right there. Bennington's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops when he needs to. And man, this team's played well. They got going north. They created opportunities. And the reason why they have a healthy lead. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Spurgeon. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Erickson X carrying it ahead. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Thomas. Great heads up play to break it away in the offensive end. Puck picked up by Kaprizov. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And he takes the feed. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow! The Wild have it on the attack. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. Smart defensive play there. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Minnesota's got possession at center. Solid check to slow him down. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Hayes finds an opening, and you know that he's going to try and take it. This time just gets a little too fancy and loses the puck. St. Louis plays it along the wall. Quick feed to Carlo. He scores! Oh, a slick one-timer carries it. Well, the shooter shows good patience on this shot, James, just waiting for the goaltender to drop. Once he does and he drops into that butterfly position, there's enough for him upstairs to be able to beat him. St. Louis has continued to run up the score here, even in the third. James, their opponent's been chasing the game all night long. Why? Because they have been persistent and relentless on the puck. When they've had it, they've owned puck possession, and they found ways to attack the net. Just have a look at the scoreboard. It'll tell you exactly what this game looked like. And it will stop. Quick pass to Maroon. Puck scooped up by Cairo. Went for the turn and dangle, and it goes sideways. And makes the save. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Blues offense has paid off in dividends tonight. No shortage of scoring chances, and they have capitalized on many. Offense is on base off, and he wins the draw. Pants scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. Kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. St. Louis has to be pleased with what they've executed tonight. This game plan has been top notch. It really has. I mean, they've been physically and emotionally engaged right from puck drop, and the score is reflective of it. Cairo has won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Takes the feed at the point. And he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Carlin Bade is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -to -head matchup tonight. Carlin? Thomas has stuck with it in a game where he hasn't been I'm able to there. generate points, and guys. I like his effort, so he's got my vote here. With the blast! Scores! And there's the hat trick at this is silent. Well, he's licking his chops when he goes on the road, hey, James? And he gets his hatty. I mean, he's been feeling it, but when he's on the road, he's something else. Well, that's a goal scorer's goal, James. I mean, he's got great moves, he's got great hands, and he finds his way to the back of the net. I mean, he has to manipulate the defender, pull him out of position, and he does yet again. St. Louis has shown no signs of slowing down. They have put lots of pucks on net and a lead late in this third period. Sundqvist won the draw. Puck battle along the boards. Moves it to Brodeen. And the fans clearly not happy what they've seen tonight as the final few seconds tip away. They are letting it 
this team have it? A strong team effort tonight leads them to victory and they take a 2-1 series lead. Well, that's a huge win to get the 2-1 lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game could mean the series tied or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead? Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. What a night. You gotta love the intensity of the playoffs, and we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at EA Sports.